Have you ever thought about what an amazing machine our bodies really are? If you're like me, you spend most of your day taking it for granted. It seems that everyone these days takes the theory of evolution as fact, and they miss the detailed complexity that it takes just to be alive. I absolutely love biology, and in particular, genetics. I want to share my amazement with you at the detail God has put inside each and every one of us. Our body is made up of cells. They perform all the body's functions, such as breathing and our heartbeat. God has made complex systems to control ourselves in amazing ways, one of which is DNA replication. DNA, known to science as deoxyribonucleic acid, is essentially a list of instructions that create hair color, eye color, dominant hand determination, or body build, amongst many other things. In other words, DNA is a software code that gives instructions on how to put a person together. In the Bible, God tells us that he knits us together in the womb, and DNA serves as a vital function in that whole process. In talking to Job, God reveals his vastly superior intellect and how complex he is. So the complexity of DNA replication should not surprise us. It is not a simple process and not easy to understand. We start with one DNA strand, but the body needs two strands to create another cell. So in order to begin duplicating the DNA strand, an enzyme called helicase unzips the DNA. It needs to be unzipped because DNA is like a twisted ladder. Helicase must straighten the twist and then unzip the DNA by separating the two sides. This results in two half DNA strands. These are called the leading strand and the lagging strand. Each of these half strands flows through an enzyme called DNA polymerase 3. Its job is to reconstruct the second side of both of the new DNA strands. Imagine a conveyor belt with a robot connecting things together. This is the simple side of things. Well, simple for God. The leading and lagging strands of the DNA are all ordered in a particular sequence. Each strand is ordered in the opposite direction to the other. For example, the leading strand could be said to start from 1 and go up to 100. Of course, it is vastly bigger than this, counting up to around 3.2 billion. On the other hand, the lagging strand could be said to start at 100 and go down to 1. Now comes the really tricky part, or should I say, the evidence of the complete brilliance of God. The DNA polymerase 3 only works in one direction. So using our previous example, it must start at 1 and count up to 100. This is no problem for the leading strand, but for the lagging strand, it is numbered backwards. For the DNA polymerase 3 to function correctly, it moves back and forwards over the strand, completing it in segments. When this extremely complicated process is finished, we have two identical copies of the original DNA strand. This whole process takes about one hour. In this time, 3.2 billion steps of the DNA ladder are duplicated. In one day, in one human body, this process is repeated nearly two trillion times. God has created this extremely complex system within each one of us. This is just a very brief summary of the actual process involved. Modern science still cannot fully understand the depth and complexity involved with this very small aspect of the human body. Next time you look in a mirror and see hair color, eye color, and skin tones, instead of looking for the flaws, look at yourself and acknowledge that you are fearfully and wonderfully made.